Hey guys, welcome back. Today is day five. We have no meetings at school, but our school board is having the very important meeting today to decide if we are going to do the first nine weeks online or if we are going to keep the options for brick and mortar versus e-learning. So it's a big day for that. That's in about, actually it might've already started. I should probably look into that. going to be working on our outdoor bulletin board a little bit the door a little bit finishing we found a calendar that we might try to use in here and then just organizing getting rid of that big pile of bins and whatever else comes up also if you are enjoying these don't forget to click like subscribe and that notification bell so that you can join in on all the fun all right let's go Okay, so we started in the kitchen and the kitchen toys are kind of limited and if we go back to school, I want to make sure that I have enough toys for all the students to play with, maybe on our rotation. I mean, I'm not really sure. We haven't gotten the directions yet, but I would like to purchase some extra toys there. Here, Miss Kelly is painting our table. She is so talented and she works very hard. So at the very end, you'll get to see how it turned out so far. And then I am, once again, using my silhouette to cut all the letters. This time I was working on letters for our outside bulletin board. It is going to be some cacti or cactus if we do more than one. And the saying is, couldn't have picked a sharper bunch. Super cute, simple. We looked on Pinterest, of course. That's where you get all the good ideas but I don't even have to think too much. And then my parents like to switch it up a little bit. After working with this machine for so many days, my mat was starting to not be as sticky and blade is starting to not be as sharp so I had to improvise a little bit and use scissors to cut little pieces off but overall it's fine I will need to purchase some new things I did get my mat to be more sticky by using a Clorox wipe which I also learned on Pinterest so if you're looking for an idea there's one I wouldn't say that it made it super sticky again but it definitely fixed it for now like I added some words earlier it's couldn't pick a sharper bunch same concept but still I don't know if you guys do this I use the lines on my tiles to help me line up the words and just make sure that the spacing looks good and the sizing looks good after that I was in a mess of art supplies everywhere so I decided to take a little break and just clean up everything put things where they go that we weren't using anymore it's always nice to have a midday cleanup so that you're on a fresh start to make another mess for all your other projects. Here I am again using the lines on the tile to line up the words. On here, this is what I showed you guys yesterday, it says when we learn we grow. So I'm just lining them up here and then I saw another trick on Pinterest probably, who knows, and it was forever ago. I wasn't sure if it was masking tape or painter's tape or what kind of tape, but I just used what I had. And basically you line them up and then you put the tape on top of them very carefully, don't push down so hard. And that way, whenever you're ready to put it on your bulletin board, the words are actually straight, like the letters are all straight, and it's easy to move the whole word as a set. 
Um, overall, I still like this concept. I'll probably continue to do it. However, I will be a little more careful because once I started putting it on the bulletin board and then started taking the tape off, I had to be very careful because these letters were not laminated. They're just cardstock. So it started to kind of tear a little bit of the cardstock top layer off and I just go really, really careful and it's really high up so nobody can really tell except for me, of course. the part I was talking about as you can see I'm going super slow taking the tape off it's kind of taking me quite a bit of time because I wanted to make sure that it didn't tear the paper too much and also a little tip make sure you staple the words before you start taking the tape off I know that sounds so silly but you can see that where it says when we learn we grow and the we is missing that's because I took the tape off and forgot that I hadn't stapled it yet so you know, I had to recut the Wii because it was the tape messed it up and just another project that takes a little bit longer. Alright, so this is one of my favorite things to do on this big wall. I even did it in first grade. I had more of them, but in here I'm only doing two. And that is to hot glue push pens, like the flat ones, not the ones that have like a clear top where you can hang things on, just flat. Anyways, you hot glue them to a clothespin and then you can push the clothespins into the bulletin board. That makes it so that whenever I make anchor charts, I can easily display them on the board without having to staple it and ruin them. And then here I'm adding in my numbers for August. I usually don't add them all in for the students. We do it as we go, but who knows when we're actually starting. So I just wanted to put them there so all that I wouldn't lose them. Next up, this is part of the birthday board. I'm just cutting black ribbon. My idea is to put black ribbon on the back of each of the months and then I have these little circles that I'm going to put their faces on so that, those are the circles, so that if their birthday is in January their little face will go under January. Later in the video we put together that bulletin board we just need to add the top part where it says like birthdays. Right, so this bulletin board I was telling her to do the next day, but then she just decided to get up there and knock it out. She did it in like 15 minutes. I'm not really sure how she's so fast at this. I was pretty much just standing around and watching her and helping her and handing her things. Also checking my phone because it was a school board meeting and we were awaiting an answer for what was going to happen. This is actually not a real bulletin board. It's just a wall and we added fabric and border to make it our own bulletin board and then we just started to add all of our birthdays.
All right, well that is it for day five. It was a day of being in our classroom the entire time and just listening to our school board meeting. It lasted pretty much all day. It was pretty stressful to listen to all sides of every story and I know that's how all teachers are feeling right now, all parents are feeling, everybody is feeling. Just a hard decision to make all around. Our district did decide to go four weeks e-learning before starting date. So they already pushed back the start date two weeks to August 24th and now we're gonna go, we're gonna start on that day but be four weeks of e-learning. However, still unknown for my position, that would be K through 12 that they're doing e-learning for. My position last meeting was said that no matter what, we are brick and mortar. Now that the whole district is that way, I'm not really sure what will happen there. So my kids will be home with my husband who is also a teacher and We'll see how that goes. So I'll give you a tour of the classroom and then I'll wrap it up. Okay, so the big board is what we got the most done with. We labeled it up there, put our wishing well. I got a calendar donated and added our numbers. So cute. I have some anchor charts up there for when we're displaying and then that's gonna be for student work. So we still have to add clothespins with their names on it and then more calendar stuff and a schedule down below. Over here is all still the same. Didn't do anything there. <laughs> and then here, this is gonna be for our bulletin board outside, some cactus and something about sharper bunch that I used my silhouette on. I organize the kitchen things and when I get some money, I'm gonna buy some more supplies for that. It's our fine motor center, so we have buckets, just not anything in it. And then I still have this old curriculum. We added our birthday board, so I just need to label the top with something, some letters, some color, who knows. And that's about it. Oh, actually, and um, my para is repainting this finally and look how amazing she is. She did the road and then the little bridge and around the water so far. So talented. So that was it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Click like, subscribe, notification, all the things. Thanks for following along. We will see you tomorrow for day six.